<laughs> Two. One. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of What is a Taint Spider, Frank? What we were just talking about, you know, I just watch uh, Age of Ashes, Dice Wise Pretense, you know, and make much more fun. They just fought two large swarms, but now we are recording and we are. Let's double down here. There we go. Recording audio on two different fronts. No mistakes this time, boys. Dice Before Dishonor. We are in episode. Does anyone know? 20? Do I hear 21? You, sir. Uh, 32? What? No, that's Star Wars. For, oh, di for no, Dice Before Dishonor. 24. No. I was literally saying, like, you guys have a 50 50 chance. I'm like, 20, 21. And you guys. <laughs> 37 no. <laughs> pay attention what episode are we on well we are filming recording and very excited about episode 20 why because when last we left our heroes the senate had convened counted the votes and pre-magenture was going to be overturned and a new female heir when of course prince stavian does eventually die Oh, many, 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 many years from now, could possibly inherit the throne. Oh, God, people are throwing robes over their heads. Old fuddy-duddies are just totally freaking out. All this stuff's going on. They call for a recount. A recount. And now, as the, you know, emotional outburst dies down, The final tally for addendum 22,087 to repeal pregemature with 36 abstentions of 222 odd senators. 36 went, I'm not voting on this. I'll sit on the fence. The final tally stood at 174 and 79 against. It passes and people are freaking out. You guys were interrupted. Lady Lothied had called you and you guys were speaking with her when they called everyone for the vote. And now you guys are all lining this upper gallery, looking down upon the Senate itself. So come back, gentlemen, you know, come to this corner. Um, the, the gallery, the, the upper part of this part. Okay. There's, um, stairwells and everything and she's saying you know come back you know let's finish that drink we had champagne all around you guys have done really well very pleased what do you say sorry i said i'll take her up on the offer and head up okay there's, I, I think we've done all that we can, so let's kind of enjoy the fruits of our labors, sit back and watch things unfold. Drinking, merriment, mission accomplished. The scene pulls out as senators and, and funny that he's rapidly recount, just to make doubly sure, just make triply sure, just make sure certain, certain people don't get in office. You know what I'm talking about. Way, 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 way out through the roof above the Senate building and across the streets of Opera. And I'm going to pull up a map of Opera right now for those watching the live stream, for those possibly taking the time to watch the uploaded version in a couple of days on our YouTube channel, or perhaps you're just listening on Spotify, on SoundCloud, on YouTube, on YouTunes, YouTunes, iTunes, we all tunes. Going now to a view of Opera, Senate Hill, a large building. Do you notice <clears throat> it really is a hill? I mean, there's some serious space around this. And a few hours ago, Sir Bartholomew was asked by a half-orc messenger that his family desperately needed him. He left the building. He went to the stable accommodations outside of the line where his horse, what is the name of your horse, sir? We really don't pay much attention to our mounts. Uh, you don't, I do. His name is Negra. 
Okay. Can I have you up, bring up your level in Zoom there on the mic or uh, still awfully quiet? Hadouken. More better? Mounting, yes. The mighty Nagroth. And spurring yourself in which direction? Can you see the map of town here? Um, yes, I can. The Donald <laughs> Dagon lands. Um, the quickest way would probably go for you to go across the canals and towards the Lion's Gate. Yep. Or perhaps across the canals and following the canals, there's a gate near the Lion's Gate on the north west side, which the road goes out and winds north, and it's probably the quickest route to your home. Of course. So if we're to plot a course where you take the windy road, cross yep. one of the bridges for the canals, then head yep. northeast along one of these main routes, yeah, and then come up across the gates. It's nighttime. The gates are closed. The guards stop you, they would ask. Identif identification, you know. Because they're always looking to catch smugglers and, you know, that kind of thing. So, Donald Dagon, open the gate. They do. You ride into the night, guiding Nagrath with your dark vision. Aha! You are barely, I wouldn't say a stone's throw, um, beyond the gate, looking back, coming up on the rise of a hill. You can see the city lights. You can see the city gates. If you called from this position, the guards wouldn't hear you, but you can see the thin line, the lit torches, you know. Hmm. They certainly cannot see you out here. The but I'm not focus on them. No, but the canal runs alongside the road, not closely. You would have to veer off and actually like it would be a good 30 seconds to two minutes of full gallop till you hit that river. Yeah, but about it, 100 or 200 feet off of the hills. Yeah, but it's there. Yeah. So what happens next when a heavy rope line is pulled up anchored to two trees there's not a lot of trees around here but they are there and i need a perception check from you as somebody tries to you know zip line the road and have you ride your horse through it and you and nagarth would go face first in the dirt that's a hard dick move it is i roll a six with a modifier that's 11. Total. okay 60 feet away, a rope comes up. You don't see it clearly. What you see is someone hiding next to a tree, pulling hard and then turning and wrapping it over like a knot or a, you know, like ready to brace kind of thing. You see movement on the side of the road and he leans back and he's holding a rope and that sort of movement of a line coming up and you see the rope, you have dark vision, you can see in the dark. Yep. What do you do? But you are riding uh, fast and hard. I pull out my sword. Okay. So you're just going to let Nagrath like lay right into this? No, I want to swing ahead of Nagrath. Like kind of run up to the rope, but like stop, turn sideways, slice the rope. Because oh. Buddy's put his weight against it to pull. Okay. You have a mere moment. Okay. Stop. Okay. You're going to hit that rope. Nagrath is at full, like you're at full speed kind of thing. Uh, skid and divert. Okay. You could jump the rope. Like I said, this is, this... I, I could, could Nagrath though. He's an old horse. With a ride check. Yeah. You just tell him to jump. This is, they're not even pulling it as high as a fence. They're pulling it just like low chest so that he hits it with his legs and then you go down. Oh, okay. Let, let, let me check. Nagrath, you got this, buddy. It's all you. Okay. 13. Okay. You pull him up. You miscalculate and the hooves just skip the rope. Like just like his hooves hit it and coming down, he's a little unstable. I need a, an immediately next ride check for, you know, for him to keep balance. 
20. Okay. Not natural. So you, you can't get him up over the rope fully, but you do clear it enough that when it twangs his, you know, his hooves and his legs or whatever, and he starts perpetuating forward, that you compensate with your weight and pull on the rain, pull back on the reins. His head flies up, and the you know the hooves come down, and you you know he he easy remains boy, easy, easy, he, easy. He remains and like runs it forward. You ever trip and like run forward? Yeah, drunk in a ditch. Does. You keep yourself like as long as you're running forward, you won't fall forward, right? Yeah. So you do, and bleeding out the speed and the distance riding past but you know pulling up and pulling around you manage to keep your feet and keep mounted on nagareth and pull him around to a slow you know trot what do you do uh s- brigands highwaymen in the middle of the night looking for an easy target thinking maybe some night messenger you know mm-hmm. possibly mm-hmm. If they knew oh, you, I, if they knew you were a half orc, they possibly would, you know, compensate it a better trick for someone that can see in the dark. Yeah. So that might lead you to believe that, you know, you're not a target. You're just the guy that came along. Happenstance. Yep. Well, my job of a knight of the realm is to protect. Okay. Swing the horse around. I, go after them. Yeah, I do. Okay. Coming back and, to where the coming back to where the line is. Sure enough. You are met from the bushes with crossbow fire. Two bolts. One from either side. What is your armor class, sir? Uh, it is abysmal. You know, I haven't rolled these War for the Crown dice in a while. The two and a four. I, I'm thinking I know why. The line of the virtual I've, dice. What is, what is I, your... I, I have an amazing parade armor of 14. One hits the the shoulder pad, the paltrip, the pal, pal, paltron, yeah, or like that yeah. that small paltron that's on your shoulder, right? Yeah. You're just leaning out, and it just pings off of that. Um, another one, um, just the angle, you know, scratches along your back and, and rips cloth and cloak, that kind of yeah. thing, but just doesn't seem to to find its mark. Yeah. But you find two archers either side of the road, not far from the line, taking pot shots at you. But I you can only to, go after one. Oh, with the one that hits me in the shoulder, I want mm. to fall to the ground. Pratt fall. Okay, so you want to like dismount and make it look like you you hit the ground. Like I got hit in the shoulder and it took me out. Okay, so a riding check to do some trick riding where you do the you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you pull up, big death scene. Oh! and 23 you hit the ground hard um and like i said this is a ride thing where you spill out of the saddle use the momentum to curl your leg guide the you know guide your hand over the saddle slow yourself just enough grabbing the horn grabbing the the reins and stuff to like you know ease yourself to the ground but you just plump it's almost like you open a car door and just like throw yourself in the dirt yeah okay you do and you lay there Mm-hmm. And what? I lay there. Okay. And wait? Yes. All right. Can I have a reflex save to see if your little show made you drop your sword? Yes, you can. Natural one. You did drop it, but you know where it is because it's like between you and the horse and you just kind of plop, right? It's... With an adjacent square, it's not like it skitters off, but it's technically not in your hand, but it is yeah. close by. Yep. Yeah. Predictably, right. one hanging back, reloading, one coming up and drawing a blade to two to craw you, one approaches. Foolishly, the one that you would guess is reloading is has Nagrath between it, him, and you. Nagrath, the trained warrior warhorse, kind of giving you cover. Oh, yeah. That you can set upon him. The man that approaches you draws a thin blade and comes over, puts a boot to your shoulder, and turns. Is he, what, what's his race? Hmm? What's you his hear race? You're face down the dirt. Oh, I'm face down. You're yeah. selling it, right? But you yeah. know they'll check you. Yeah. yeah. They want to see. Anyway, toe to the shoulder, poke, poke, see if you respond. Broken arrow sticking out, right? 
And then sure enough, they don't take a knee. That would be crazy. But he does sort of kick you over. When do he kicks me over? Mm-hmm. I I I want to try to punch him in the in the baby maker area. Okay. That 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 would make me happy. I'll give you um, pick a number between uh, one and six. Uh, okay, three. See if he rolls you. Where are my dice sticking towards your sword? He flips you in the direction of your sword. Okay. Does that change you at all, or just no? No, I still okay. big okay. orc fist right yep. in the baby zone. Okay, so he flips you over, and he's looking to see if you did, and you just you just pop up and you just sit up and punch. Yeah. Okay, let's have it. Strength. Uh, yeah. Uh, plus two. Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Yeah. All right. I rolled a seven. I got plus two for my. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. No, that's that's plus my sorry, plus my bab. Okay. Which he is nine. Likely because he's fixated on you to see if you are dead and then flipped you over. He is surprised yeah. that you mm-hmm. hop up and take a swing at him, but he he sort of jumps back just in time and you sort of clip his thigh as opposed to hitting him or doing any damage, calling this a miss. Right. But he jumped back. He did so jump can I make back. A, can I make a move for that sword? So uh, I move towards you. I flip you over. You ready to action. You sit up and punch. It's back to him. I'm going to try to stab you while you're prone or semi-prone sitting up with my dagger. Oh, another two. Okay. <laughs> so he comes at you and you roll away towards your sword, towards that sword, causing him to like chase you down with a dagger. It's yeah. your turn. You grab the sword. Uh, yeah. You stand up. I whistle for Nagrath to attack him. Okay. You go scrambling for the sword. He chases you. He goes to take that attack of opportunity as you try to get up. No, I don't try to get up. Okay. I will swing at him. Okay. He comes over, ready for you to get up or trying to stab you. And Nagroth comes, like, steps right over you and double hoofs him. Go for it. Two hooves. Uh, I, give me a second. I don't have Nagroth in the system. Oh, just roll. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Give me a second. His attack is... Uh, give me a roll. Give me a rough one. Not- a raw twenty. Oh, okay. I uh, realize you're. You got to look up like strength and stuff. I'm. You know. Not no, no. Thing. I got it right. I got it right here. Is he going Go. for a bite or two hooves? You're talking about. Well, you told him to attack, so I'm assuming it's two hooves. Yeah. All right, two hooves. At, uh, they're both at minus one, but he gets two attacks. Okay, go. Uh, all right. D twenty. Roll. Ha ha. First one. Thirteen. So that's uh twelve. Okay. And next one. Second one. Is a 18. Misses with the first, connects solidly in the chest with the second. 1d6 plus 1 for dams. Go ahead. Uh, 1d6. So, seven points. Okay. Coming towards you, scrambling, focused down, surprised that the horse comes around or comes over you, right? Rears up with the two hooves. He you know, leans back and the horse just comes down on him and... Hoof one, miss, scraping down. Hoof two, saw in the chest. The man goes flying to the ground and does not get up. What do you do? I then stand up. You hear the, the man, man you, hear, the... you hear the man cursing from the other side, from All the right. ditch. I, I want to get mounted back up on the Nagrath. Okay. And then, so the guy who got kicked by Nagrath, is, he's not moving? He's down. Okay. Does I would like to tra- Go ahead. Okay. I want to trample him. Okay. So you mount a uh, ride no. check. You get uh, free yeah. free if you can get a ride check of 20. Uh, move action if you blow it. 15. Move action. Okay. So you, uh, where were you? You grabbed your sword. You get yep. up. Mm-hmm. That, that's you. You hear the guy cursing. He's looking for a shot. You're on the other side. The guy looks over. You look over. The guy doesn't get up. Everyone's gone. The guy in the you know ditch moves, does something you don't really see, and then mm-hmm. you mount as a move, and then yep. wheel as a ride check. You wheel him around to trample the dude. Okay. Coup de stomp. Well, <laughs> just more damage, right? Just, yeah. Dim dams. 
I have. Do you remember the Disney animation Mulan? Oh yeah, and yeah, the horse. Do you remember stop, when stop, the horse? Stop. Yeah, yeah. On the that's kind of what I envisioned in my mind. So trample attack. Yeah, totally. Plus four because the guy's prone. Okay, uh, so just a uh, roll a roll a d twenty and then yep. do something with that. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, raw twenty of nine. Plus four is thirteen. Plus strength plus, from the horse. Plus three. Plus three is Nagras strength. Okay. So like 16. So you go yeah. trample, 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 squish, 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 and damage from a trampling is like 2d6 or? I have no idea, bud. I'm pretty sure it's like 2d6. It's nasty. Oh, yeah, I, I will take your word on this. Yeah, okay. trample, is, trample is nasty. I had it up here. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it again. Okay. You are up high in the air, silhouetted yep. against the night. I am low in a ditch, and Mr. Bad Guy takes his shot and hits you for d8 you take six points of damage as you what get shot last... in the back shoulder what the last one hit yeah so i take six uh no it was just you were said you were you were getting um, it's just you... a standard attack by the way it's just a standard attack for trample damage. yeah for trample but you get a um the but the plus four yeah, we did that bit, and he hit. What's about the damage? It just well, it means that you can move and do damage. You run on over on your move. Oh, so another D six. So no, this is not an action. It's just a move action to do trample attack. Okay, so D six, run him over. D six plus one. All right. So you take six points. No, you did not get hit before. This is the first time you've been hit this evening. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I took damage from that one on the shoulder. No, we were talking about pinging and. Yep, and you 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 said you you wanted to like make it look like you were hit. The one that got oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. I just didn't know if I actually took damage from that. No, nope. and your right check is sufficient. I'll let you like dump, like you know, peel on, like pour yourself onto the ground, and then just make yeah. a big sort of plop to sell it at the end. So you're good. It was the best Pratt fall ever. Yep. So to damage. Me. Uh, one d six rolled. Uh, four points. Okay. Yep, there's lots of squishing and pasting going on down there. You're pretty sure that, about that. And then you get shot in the back, sho back of the shoulder. Funny, the same side where, you, you know, damn right. parade armor. Twink. It serves no purpose whatsoever. All right, I want to uh, eyeball where my uh, where that archer is. Okay. You look over, like mm -hmm. because of the shot coming over your shoulder, you just look back or wheel around, and you can see him. Oh, perfect. He's, I... you know, 30 feet away taking a knee in a ditch or whatever and, and looking up, you know, using the nice the skyline I would, to... I would like to charge him. Okay. Ha! Ha, I see you, knave. V Victus! And I charge. Okay. So, an attack with the sword, and I guess... Uh... All right, just looking for the weapons because I'm not using my standard kit okay what do you got nope oh, sorry still stalling <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. oh here it is okay uh long sword i roll an attack with this guy now i get no charging on horseback so i get a plus two for charging right and then on horseback, do you get anything extra on that, or high ground bonuses, or something? Maybe, maybe. Not. Uh, no, they're, they give it free for the charge. So, okay, that so nineteen to hit. Okay. Yes. Ten, ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Okay, so you pretty much come along and you just freaking run him through. Ah! And he just slides off your sword and like lumps into the ground. Filthy bandit. Okay. He forcibly like drops his crossbow, is holding his chest and starts crawling away, holding up his hand in surrender. And he's a little wild eyed, like he's aware of the shadows in you and can kind of see, you know, that kind of thing. But he starts crawling away and he's like, no, no, please, please. Just, it was just a job. It's just a job. Give me a reason, Dave. 
Spare me! I'll tell you everything. Spare me, please. I grab him with my one free hand that doesn't hold a shield, which should have been holding a shield this whole time. Which I'm like laying on the ground now. That's quite a stretch. Okay. okay, okay. I didn't know that. All right. I I kind of get. I want to get Nagrath to kind of be stomping the ground right beside him. Okay. Like, like the the you, you can you can like get your sword down there. You know, you can point the sword right down on him. No, I I, I like the hooves. It's better. Okay. Okay. Like, give me a reason, Dave. Why oh, you should please. become fertilizer. Please, my lord. No, no, it's just a job. I didn't know. Which my is... lord is the term of respect. I doubt that you have any of that. Please, I beg you. Mercy. It was just a job. From who? A man. A courier. Which man? A courier. He, just, he paid us. We had an hour to get ready. Said a knight would come, a courier would come, and it within like you know with the, anyway they for what first you thought wasn't like just a random okay it's, this man is claiming that someone paid these guys to set up an ambush at a certain time, and the claimed a mounted you know a mounted knight would come through here and he mm -hmm. would be easy pickings because he would be distracted. We could trip him easy and like in the aftermath of you know you falling they could shoot you and just chop you up and you know. Two guys, a couple crossbows and a tow line are a match for a single rider when you dismount him. Mm. So this makes you rather suspicious because you were you were there at the party for hours and hours. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a courier comes up and goes, here, your family really needs you. And you're like, guys, I got to go. And you immediately head off. And these guys are saying they were timed to receive somebody. And you just happened. To, they don't say it's you. You know, they didn't know it was a half orc they could see in the dark. But they were paid to ambush, you know, the yep. one lone. And it's not like so people could have come along here. They were told so, a lone rider will be exiting the, the you know, the city mm -hmm. in a hurry. I, I hop down off of Nagrath. Okay. You get nice and low with him. Did the courier wear a tabard? No, just, just a man in a, in a hood. Or is it a verbal where? missive? Yes. Hmm. Here, here. He says, here. You know, he paid in advance and he just like, you know, pulls lions, gold coins. You know, take the money, please. I, Anything. Spare my I, life. I take know. the point curse, but I don't break eye contact with him. Okay. Um, He just, he, he, he doesn't give you the purse. He just pulls it out and kind of like drops it. You know, here. Yeah, you, I, you hear the big clink. I, I just take it without breaking eye contact or okay We're, i'm sorry I, I didn't know it's like 20 gold is 20 gold pieces you know hmm. no nothing frank okay fine <laughs> there's the big grin <laughs> that's frank's favorite joke 20 dollars is 20 dollars. i'm not an assassin but 20 dollars is 20 dollars right all right sorry all right. i want i want to hog tie him at this point okay I want to throw him over the back of Nagrath. Okay. And I want to run. I want to ride back to the capital. Okay. And get to the, want to get to the gates. Yep. I want to take bring turn him over to the guard. Sure. Explain what happened. Hmm. Okay. And now what do you ambush. do? Yeah. So you were I, set I up, man. <laughs> I want to head back to the party. Yeah. With all haste. Yeah. Let us say this entire event takes, you know, an hour or so. Like you went. That's you got, a long ride. You, you went, you got, you got just outside of town, you know, no witnesses. The combat no. goes down. You ride hard back. Wait, wait. turning I him take over. I an action and I pull the arrow out of my back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, you just, just own it, right? Just show up in the party. <laughs> it's the latest fate, you know, battle damage at the gala. You know, it's the latest craze. You <laughs> start trends. Look at that. Yeah, wait, wait. Actually, I leave it in. It's like Steve Martin and his arrow through the head gimmick, right? He's trying to start a trend amongst <laughs> comedians, right? Look at this, fresh from the field, right? Dirty cloak, big arrow sticking out of your shoulder. So um, what takes most of the time is you turning them over the guards. They want to know everything. They go over, you know, they take a statement, blah, blah. You know, you don't just go, here, there's a knave. He tried to kill me. Look at the arrow, right? Mm. Um, you get a, you coerce them to cooperate. And that's what burns your time. And you head back to the gala. Yeah. And you arrive and you track down your friends search room by room by room mm -hmm. that also violently 
takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shoving out of my way. Anyway, everyone's convened. The Senate's already voted. You know, everyone's in one area. You you walk into the arcade, it's practically empty. You walk into the petting zoo, it's practically empty. You come into the back, it's practically empty. The Senate's all sealed up with doors. Uh, there's elbow the push shove, elbow push shove. You know, there's the archive, there's the kitchen, there's the galley. Oh, okay, we'll walk here. Anyway, you gave it's the Holy pen. Screamer for crying out loud. <laughs> How can you mess that up? <laughs> You um you gave your pin yes. when you left, so you have yeah, no I, way to contact them. You got to do a search, but eventually, taking time, and because we burned so many episodes and so much time, and so many things happened here without you, that gentlemen, we are clinking glasses and oh, you and mission accomplished with law feed, and we're like halfway through our drinks, and very soon, the um, the emperor himself is supposed to make a speech, and you guys remember, um, Lady law feed handed you guys. Uh, a missive from Kelbo's Kelbio's parents. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. That you're supposed to give them after the ceremony, which is like coming up. Okay. Amongst your amongst the people like crowded in there and all this stuff and everyone's oh, oh, oh right you hear oh I say get out of my way oh, type of thing and you know barging through a bunch of people right is Bartholomew who like left two hours ago. And spots you guys and just comes tromping right over, heavy of breath, and says, No, he's still here. Nothing's amiss. Sir Sir Bartholomew, Lady Lothy says, is something something is amiss. You look terrible. You're covered in dirt and and what's going on? The gentleman you know, we, they told her that yo family business you bailed, so she didn't expect to see you. You come running back covered in dirt, so she's concerned. Um I was, I look around. We're in a very public area? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're cr we're crowded, so you want to make it private? Do we yes. get the cricket going? No, no. She was just like, yay, and we're just partying in a corner, right? You can, you can ask <laughs> yeah. her to whip it out. Uh, yes, but a word in privacy. Okay. I would. Of, of course. So, uh, gentlemen, please excuse me. Lothi takes Bartholomew alone, jumps behind her coffee table, and we watch as... Or are you talking to everybody? Everybody. Do you, do you trust I have more, everybody? I have more. I have more in line with uh, the Samich, uh, Samish and Winston. You're sure um, none of them betrayed you? Yes. Okay. Then. Are you sure Fafal didn't betray you? He's not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Only the adults, right? <laughs> sorry, no kids at the party. <laughs> um, sorry, oh. Lothi misunderstood. You said a word in private. I thought you meant her alone. So you a like... word in private. I meant more to the uh, addressing the group. Okay. So uh, Sam Samish, okay. Winston. Yeah. Well, everyone uh, heads Leon over there. Isn't around, but no, Leon's uh, isn't my, around. My my fellow cavaliers. That concerns you. Yes. Where's Leon? And you Where know, is... and Fafal is like right on Samish's heel. No. As, as Fafal is following mm -hmm. uh, Samish, I kind of put the big meaty hand on his chest. Perhaps you should scout around the perimeter and make sure no one gets too close. Okay. You want to send him to find the missing Leon? If no, anyone, you're actually he's... the closest companion of Leon. You know this, right? Leon's like yeah. the only guy you call friends. You guys like save each other's lives, you know, for proportion, you know. But I wouldn't trust that to somebody else other than me. Oh, okay. Fine. Fair enough. Sorry, please continue. Fafal will bow. Be... Of course, my liege. I will scout to make sure no one listens in. Okay. Give a semi-real salute. Yep. And just mocking you know, the hell out of start, you. Yeah. <laughs> this perimeter. is the second name to overtitle you this evening. No. Okay. So... We get aside where, you know, all ears and all eyes and she winds up her cricket and they're like, you know, please, uh, Sir Dolldagen, tell us what, you know, what has transpired? What's going on? I have um, received a message from my family that bore all the proper insignias to insinuate that it had been sent from my family. But en route to our estate, a few hundred feet from the board from the walls i was ambushed and laid upon by bandits two but it wasn't just a normal waylaying they were 
specifically to target me. Gentlemen, how do you react to this news? She's like, what? Like, she to yes. totally draw. Yeah, like Winston does the, <gasps> like a girl, right? Lothi just looks pissed. And she's like, what? I'm just trying to just sit there and try to figure things out. <clears throat> what? Who is it that could mask our events here yet still detect us in the group? What 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 purpose do they have to separate us to pick us off one by one? And I'll turn to Lady Lothie. Do you suspect something? Uh, my concern now is for Lord Vinmark. Did you not also recently tell me that he was removed from the gala by family on the pretense of being needed by family? She says her chin bobbing back towards Bartholomew, like just but Bartholomew was called away with documents. Of Vinmark himself, like escort, you know. What of Lord Vinmark? I mean, um, <clears throat> he still has a pin on, right? Yes, he does. Um, we'll, we'll tell him that Bartholomew was just attacked by what appeared to be legal, or what was called away by what appeared to be legal papers from family. Are you okay? We fear someone may be trying to separate our group and and have their way. I think he's Leon? asking you. <laughs> Leon. All right. This is the... Oh, that's what you're, that's the 25 words or less you're saying into the mic, as it were? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, I am fine. I am with my lord. Anyway, he's kind of mumbling it, so you get the idea, like, I can't talk now, but as far as he knows, he's good. If he's with his lord, he's with the mayor of Opera. He, so, tells, he um, tells you he, he tells you in short order, you know, I can't talk right now. I'm with dad. <laughs> like I'm with adopted dad. I'm with the mayor. So and and we're all hearing this, right? It's not just me. Yep. Uh, yeah, it should come over all of them, right? Even well, would. actually, except for Bartholomew, yeah. who's still lacking a pin. Yeah. Does one of us have two? Yeah, Barkley's holding an extra pin. No. Right. Oh. We were Before. short. We were short a pin. Samish's pin went short to go to Aiden, and then Bartholomew gave Samish his pin to bring it back up, because he was leaving. Because mm -hmm. we had four pins, five guys. Add Aiden. Add Fafal. You gave him his. Bartholomew left. Gave him yours. So Aiden has right. So Fafal has Samish's pin. Lord Gildavarth, you have Bartholomew's pin. Barkley has Madame Trant's pin. Right. Which on the is inside of the collar. On the, the inside of the collar. So, yeah, he just shows it. Bling! <laughs> See? <Oof. laughs> what are you going to do? Barkley looks small, right? I don't want my pin. <laughs> I'll turn to Lothi and say that I, I suspect something may be happening. Un, un, you know, under the throng of civility, something's happened. Yes, I, I mean, I, I am immediately suspicious. I could have been seen speaking with you at the parlor. Um, you know, I have rivals and people do watch me. And if I collectively brought you cavaliers together and spoke, they might have thought you've been working for me several hours here in the crowd. Someone may have figured out that you are, you know, because you guys have been plugging people. Who are you with? Who are you with? Who are you? Pro con, pro con. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. But they had the time to prepare the proper documents with my family's insignia. Yes. That takes time, which means the decision to get rid of you was made early in the evening or pre, you know. Who knew of your meeting with us? From your end, Lati. No one. You know, even the... You have no even, even my clo I don't tell all my associates all my plans, gentlemen. Agreed. This is very disturbing, but as intense as it is, I'm going to fade out the battle music, the dun dun dun, and go back to a more relaxed. You guys spend the next several minutes comparing theories, comparing notes, talking to Lafeed, trying to figure this out. When 
Everyone is called back to the Senate. It is time for Calbio to be exalted. It is time for the Grand Prince to ascend the tall stage and give his speech. Gentlemen, this will obviously have to wait because this is the this is the event they actually bring everybody in. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys don't even have to wait upstairs in the galley. They, you know, they pack everybody in um, like a concert. And everyone happily goes because you all get to see the king and, you know, type of thing. Now, someone like Lothi, the princess, are posted like right in front of the stage. You guys are like, you know, most of the way back comparatively to rank. So uh, a young lord, let's say that you're at the back of the first third, if not no further back than halfway in the crowd, Lord Lord Varth. Okay. So and, and well, well, Someone like Fafal could be right beside you. But the knights, you guys are probably in the back quarter, if not the back third, as far as a throng, you know, circle goes. We'll bring up the map again. Yes, Frank. I was going to say, while all this is happening, I'm going to turn to my companions here and say, uh, I think something's going to happen. Um, our weapons are peace bound, right? Mm -hmm. um, mine is not anymore. I'm going to untie that shit. Okay. You know, and just like drape the cord over the palm if I can. So it's yep. not super obvious. So can but I, I think I think something's gonna happen. A sleight of hand or a stealth check to cover the evidence, because like I said, you know, the guards might spot it kind of thing. Uh so do you want sleight of hand or stealth? Your choice. If it's stealth, it's like you always keep your hand on your pommel or just happen and rest your hand on the knot and you're trying to cover it up. Sleight of hand would be like, here, I do a fancy knot, but it's like a pull thing. It's not a proper knot. You know what I mean? Like you're just doing uh, Can I roll to assist? Sure. You can do it for him if you want. Like your Actually, lord just said, um, this, this shit, I want my sword free. You know? Yeah. As soon as I hear that, well, my lord, if you do a knot like this okay. and sleight of hand check. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll let him. If he wants to jury rig oh. it so I can just... Oh yeah, Barkley. You're, the man goes right for your belt, starts fondling and fumbling with you. Barkley looks away in shame. <laughs> Do you want to handle animals? Oh. Oh, sorry, oh, had to. All right, I got a I got a natural one for an eight on sleight of hand for the knot. All right. Ooh. Okay. That's better than me. <laughs> I mean, you can roll to assist. Yeah, give that plus two. At least two. bump that DC to a ten. All right, oh, here we he go. Likes the eight. I assisted plus three. Well, we know that Fafal is not good at tying people up. He just doesn't do ropes well. All right. Okay, so, so that's an eleven total. Okay. I'll just know to kind of hang back and try to avoid uh, any scrupulous persons or unscrupulous, as the case may be. Okay, now when you say hang back, does that mean you want to like get a bird's eye view, like stick to a wall kind of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would definitely like to not be okay. wide out in the open here. Okay, well the thing is, is you guys are gonna end up shoulder to shoulder with people, and there are guards posted around the perimeter. The closer you are to a guard, the more chance of your you know bluff being discerned. Oh, just, just... yeah, I don't want to be near a guard, but. Yeah. So if here's the best place for me, that's that's where I'll be. This is as close as you're allowed to get by station. You can be there okay. or further back if you wish. Same thing with nah, like here, here's, Winston, here's like fun. you know, by station, he's um, you know, back a bit. I'm just um digging up Bartholomew here. Do, right. do, 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 do. Where's Bartholomew? Here. So you say. There he is. So I, I I'm assuming you're gonna hang out with Winston or yeah, I'm going to try to stay with the group as a whole. Yeah, you, you don't have you don't have the rank to stay as far as Lord Varth is allowed to with his aid. Then definitely stick with those members who I can stay beside without breaking out too far. Yep. So and, see how we get you guys set up here. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now these squares are ten feet and pack them in, and you know yeah how you have tavern seats drawn on a map of a bar. Your mini like dominates the one chair, you know, so there's more room. There's more going on here than they can really depict. Okay. But a nice tight, tight shot, they pack him in. And gentlemen, this is not the first time I've given this speech. If you check through our videos, 
we did a flash forward of this scene, which we will now reenact differently. But we're going to do this. We, we gave a little taste before. And um, we want to, you know, interest people in the podcast, interest people in like a video aspect or whatever. The problem with jumping into the future, perhaps it's a vision of an oracle that we're going to dig up soon, is little things can change the future. In our preamble, we had Leon. Tonight, we don't. He's not here. Something's changed. But just like last time, I got to say, the Senate is packed. Grand Prince Stavian III ascends the tall stage that overlooks the hall from its center. He raises a single hand to calm the murmurs of the assembled crowd. A member of the Prince's Alfin Guard escorts a thrilled looking man in noble attire. You guys recognize him as Calbio, the soon to be elevated commoner. He stands several paces behind the Grand Prince. The prince speaks. Quite the assembly we have here today. I don't think I've ever seen the Senate building packed so full. Especially not for any of my previous speeches. He waits a moment for the comedy let out where, you know, someone might laugh or titter. There's just a quiet coughing. Even my lovely daughter. And he motions down in the front row where you guys know Lafayette went, kind of pointing out the princess and everybody looks over. Now a woman sits among the players of Opara's greatest game. Of course, none of you here are for me. No, today is about something else entirely. Today is about elevation. It is no secret that today is about exalting others to a new status in life. I am sure many of you have had the opportunity to meet Calbio here. And he kind of glances back over his shoulder. He's a man of the people, elevated at the urging of all the ladies, lords, senators, and aides present in this chamber here today. I think... We should all give him a rousing applause to commemorate this moment, this momentous change in his life. The room erupts into cheers as Stavian pauses, and within this proclamation, he smiles widely and takes in the adulation of the crowd. Gentlemen, I would like a sense motive check from each of you present. Okay. Varth, earlier stating that shit's going to go down, I will even give you a plus two bonus to this roll because you're really wondering, you know, <clears throat> your feelings yep. up, you know? 24. Matt? What'd you get? 14. Bartholomew? Four. <laughs> Great cheese they're serving here. Oh, yeah. This is the I shit. was shot today. <laughs> just, <laughs> you, you just In the shoulder. Thank you. The camera pans in, and he's just like, the wound's just pumping out blood. The stain is slowly embedding on his cloak, and he looks a little faint. It's in his really arm. good cheese, though. It's really, really good, good cheese. cheese. Aiden? Uh, I got a 16 on sense motive. Lord Varth? It is you alone, beating a difficult DC of 20 today, that you notice at this proclamation, and he, when he pauses, it's mm -hmm. possibly a signal because you notice subtle repositioning movements by armed black garb personnel to block the exits. Can I do or say anything? Sure. Um, through my Senate pen, okay. I'll 
<clears throat> excuse me, I'll let my friends know it's the Black Guards. They're up to something. Okay. And on my weapon, I'm I'm waiting. Okay. Can I have a perception check, guys, as you look around for said Black Guards? Start scanning the crowd for these mysterious men in black. <laughs> what do we Eight. got? <laughs> no. Eleven, sorry. Okay. Looking Eight. around, looking around. Eight. As the applause abates, a hulking Alfin guard pushes Calbio forward, almost knocking the commoner down as he awkwardly regains his balance beside Grand Prince Stavian himself. The leader of Taldor maintains his calm placing a hand on Calbo's shoulder without ever taking his eyes off the crowd. I understand your parents sacrificed everything to help you reach this day. Note the picture behind me. I mean, it's one creepy looking dude. Yeah? My boy, saving up for your apprenticeship and the tools you need to achieve greatness. And today, you are a grateful son, no doubt making them proud. I too understand what it is to sacrifice. I have given so much for the people of this nation. A brother, he looks out of the crowd, reminding everyone, a son, again, panning around the crowd, reminding the terrible tragedy of his son's death and a lifetime of service. Even my own daughter's loyalty. He pauses, licking his lips, pulling the awkward Calbio closer to his sides. But unlike you, Lord Calbio, these Taldians, my children, truly, are not grateful. They scheme and plot, dream of hanging their dutiful father and placing a woman, a woman, sir, on the lion throne. And they have seen fit this very day to induct you into their conspiratorial ranks. And that is why here now you, Lord Calbio, will be the first among them to die. And with that, the Emperor of Taldor plunges a jeweled dagger between the ribs of the astonished man in his clutches. The crowd is silent speechless he pulls the dagger out sideways raining gore on his own princess daughter and laid Lord three a, a real gallagher watermelon style on the front row Calbio mouths ma ma pa, pa before he collapse on the stage in a heap a red-stained Princess Eutropia defiantly stands amongst the splattered nobility, staring up at her father in complete disbelief. Suddenly, casting aside cloaks to reveal armor and blades, the unidentified soldiers that you saw, Lord Varth, that you did not mention were standing at the doors, so I made them roll perception, sorry guys, in the chamber already begin moving and start cutting down and killing the attending masses in a wholesale slaughter. A total of 50 armed soldiers in black surround the room. What do you do? It's time to kill 50 black guards. Men, let's go. Little, uh, <clears throat> can I have that again? Say it's time to kill 50 black armored guardsmen. There we go. After a moment of the confusion from most of the elfin guard, his own guard, Viking warriors, they don't like pick up on the signal. They don't close to, you know, doors. They don't start raining down axe terror. They stand there kind of confused. And then dutifully basically close ranks on the actual prince and start marching him back out of there as Calbo's, Calbio's body bleeds out on the edge 
of the stage, tonight's first casualty. Everyone's grave, this man has lost his mind. Black clad warriors and panicked senators alike start ebbing and throw and th and thronging back and forth the black men cut down masked anyone who gets near the doors and the senate becomes a wholesale killing field stavian is looking around in deranged wonder at this butchery he has ordered as the Alfen guards slowly kind of edge him off back 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 time to get out of here mr president that kind of thing what do you guys do? Uh, free the blade and start moving towards the nearest black guard. Okay. By the time you I guys... Am... Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to rush up to... Uh, what's his name? Calbian? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get there and staunch his wounds, try to save him. Okay. You know, so... of, of anybody here, he's the only one that I feel is like... Yeah, worthy. You know, was truly <laughs> betrayed. Okay. There is no running in this room, gentlemen. It is so packed with people and they are freaking out. You are at, you know, you're, you might as well be at the Super Bowl yeah. and somebody yells fire and people are trampling over themselves just to get pinned down like lemmings and slaughtered at the door. The people behind them don't see that slaughter. They're running away from Calbio and the presented slaughter on the stage. Like our king's gone nuts. So I'm going to get out of here, you know. And there's just, you guys are being pushed and jostled around. I'm not saying you're going to get knocked over, but there's no sort of, and I just leap over to this. No, like it's push, shove, excuse me. Ah, get the sword up. Oh, Senator Bob impaled himself. Sorry, buddy. Not my fault. You know, and off you go. And you guys start weaving and going. So Varth is heading towards the stage a mere 20 feet away. And yet an eternity to get there. Fafal, what are you doing? I am right on his ass. Okay. Like, Okay. His ass and my ass are like, boom. Like, it, yep, it's nope. one of those, my rapier is drawn, keeping an eye out for all black guards. He is my lord. Okay. I'm protecting him. No problem. Covering his back. Bartholomew, Winston, trying to, Bartholomew is trying to, you know, free a sword, trying to make his way to a door. Winston is speechless. Is speechless. <laughs> I'll take, yeah, I'll take a look around and see if I can see my other companions. Okay. Uh, see if I can it, see it's, Barth it's, making his way through the crowd. Barth was not far from you, and now he's like passes you, and he's pushing his way. You know, you know, following his wake, or you want to like, but it's yeah, I'll it's, follow it's, his it's, wake. it's pandemonium, like just... pandemonium. Yeah, no, I'll follow in his wake. All right. Um, as you guys try to help, as you guys try to you know like finally get through and maybe face off with these um, masked men. We hear above the crowd a shout. Do you guys remember the woman that inspected you and then handed you toys? Kalthan yes. Kalthan Zalar? Pro obviously a plant or an agent of Lafitte? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Way back in the day. Not far <laughs> from Lafitte's position. She's not next to her, but not far. From Lothi's position, she's probably on the outer ring like Winston or whatever, but is you know rapidly hacking or trying to get to Lothi. Um, a call above the din: Lions blades to your duties. Defend the Senate. Defend Taldor. Martella Lothi and Princess Eutropia herself. Remember the Scrappy Princess, known for dueling draw weapons and fight back against the assassins and try to clear people out of the way to get to them. It is, to put it bluntly, a shit show. These guys are taking on guards like these, let's call them Stavian agents, okay, are serious sellswords. Like these guys are fighting dirty, hard it's not stab stab one guy goes down instead like these guys are winning and people that do get weapons on them do not last long bartholomew is the closest finally the crowd parts and one of the guards draws his attention out away from his sword and the gore of the senator that falls towards him and then looks up 
towards you. And his eyes squint as if he's smiling underneath his mask. And he flips his blade over and flicks blood in your direction and levels it and rotates it around, pointing at you. What do you do? Justice meets all who strike against a para citizen. Traitor. Okay. And I attack him. All right. Your blades clash. Winston behind him on Barkley. There are other nearby opponents, or you could possibly assist Bartholomew. I will assist Bartholomew. Okay. Um, what have you got for a weapon? Your lethal eye patch of piracy? A couple of rice cakes? My cake, couple wolf? Ah, of... oh, yes. The wolf. <laughs> the wolf. You get right in there. And we, you know, fight like men side by side. It is apparent your gut tells you that Bartholomew, without your help, is outclassed and could possibly get himself killed. But that is a knight's job. We are defending Taldor. If Stavian goes nuts, what is he going to do to the fields, the lands, the people beyond your people, Winston? The fight begins here. He depicted the first battle. There is no other place. Anyone with a lord or sir at the beginning of their name should be. Oh.